balls deep in the fifth dimension. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, man bun, Jesus has risen and the entire fifth dimension itself right here on the first edition of the Squatch and the Bun, the psychedelic Sasquatch with me. What's going on? You Good. know it. Welcome to the episode numero uno of the Squatch and the Bun. Uh, this is absolutely unreal. This is something we've unreal. been doing. It is good to be here, Paul, so the long. fifth. And this is our, our third attempt now. Holy fuck. We've had technical errors and difficulties all along the way. And who knows if this is going to be the first one. This is our third attempt at the first one. But I think once we get the first one going, we'll get a second one and a third and a fourth and a fifth. And hell, we're quarantined. We might as well make one every single day of this quarantine and just release them over time. Honestly, if we can't leave the house, we might as well just do the squash and the bun on a daily basis and just talk. Talk, talk. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Because I'm gonna have nothing else to do. I'm gonna be going insane. I honestly feel the. Uh, I, I I sent out today on the Snapchat. I said I feel like I'm in jail. I feel like I can't leave. There's nothing to do. Everything right now, ladies and gentlemen, is closed down. There is nothing right now. I went to go out to DoorDash, and there's a lot of people on the road, but everything is closed. CJ, this is crazy times we're living in. I want to be honest. This is some weird shit. Let me tell you something. They, okay, so I have not felt the effects nearly as much as I know I'm going to. Monday, they closed down the gym, and I was pretty irate. I'm heartbroken. Uh, We went there on Monday. We got our last workout in, and this sucks for me because I have been going to, we've been going to the gym consistently now for a couple of weeks, probably like three weeks in a row of like not missing a single day. I'm finally starting to look good. Uh, it took me a while in my life. It took me a long time in my life to get to get to the point of discipline and consistency where I've gone every single day for three weeks straight. I was in a killer groove. I had um, all the momentum in the world, and I was like, nothing is gonna stop me. Nothing's gonna hold me back. And then, boom! Next thing you know, coronavirus says there is no more gym. Coronavirus. LA Fitness sucks. is locked down. You, if you want to work out, you got to do some bullshit Fugue's home workout thing. And uh, you can't even run the street. I, well, now we're on complete lockdown. Now everything is locked. This is what I'm trying. I'm gonna. I don't want to spiral too much. Real quick. We're spiraling already. Okay. The <laughs> yeah. First three minutes of the show. I, we're fucking. I spiraling. am. I'm angry though. I, I'm very bent out of shape because today I um, I have not felt the effects because I have been working still. I have still been at work. I've been doing my thing as far as uh, glass and storefronts go for the uh, the shoot JLB. And now, today, Cuomo has issued that as of Sunday night, there will be a mandatory state lockdown and all jobs will be closed down except for grocery stores. And if you're going, if you're leaving leaving your house to go anywhere, nope. If you're leaving your house, like, supposedly it's the same as walking around with a, uh, a gun. Because you're considered a murderer now. Holy fuck. That's the kind of that's, that's the level of seriousness they're at. And the guy I work with told me that the National Guard has landed yesterday. No, on Long Island? Yes. Holy and, shit. and MacArthur. And he saw them with b- coffins on coffins on coffins on coffins just stacked up in crates. I do not think the coronavirus is that bad. I have not I do not know anybody that knows anybody that knows anybody that has this virus. Here's the thing. Sh- breaking news. Um, I have an uncle and an aunt. The aunt works in a hospital, and that aunt, um, she con- she was in contact with somebody with coronavirus, and she was tested, and she tested positive for coronavirus. My uncle, Uncle Link, he has also been tested positive for coronavirus. <coughs> uncle Link has, uh, he has some crazy heart surgery. He has respiratory problems. No he was, way. He was a smoker his whole life. No I'm, way. I'm honestly. He. Ta- I swear to God, I didn't believe this shit. I Are thought you this serious? Shit was fake news. I want to call. I, like, I want to call him honestly and be like, "Yo, Uncle Link, like, what the fuck is good? Like, are you all right, son?" I do not believe in the coronavirus. I'm gonna be That's straight what I'm up saying. with you. That's, I didn't believe in so it. So I think we need to talk to Uncle Link, and, and maybe this would be a good content for the rest of the week for Radio. We we already have. 
Squash in the Bun episode two because I need to follow up with this. This is nuts. Yeah. So Uncle Link apparently has coronavirus. Uh, his daughter has coronavirus and is still going out and seeing her boyfriend because she does, she can't stay home. Wait, she what? Her daughter, his daughter has corona. Yeah, and she's going out to and see. She's her, going her out mans. and doing. She's doing shit. She's going out to see her man. She's spreading the coronavirus. Her man has coronavirus too. I guess. I guess so. Now he does. So are they quarantined themselves together, or are they no, just, she's going, just out going out? Like, out? She don't give a fuck. She's, she's really spread. She should be arrested. To be quite frank with you, my cousin should be arrested and put on their trial by fire because that is outrageous. That you are going to go outside and uh, try to spread the coronavirus. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. And you know what? I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I do not believe in the coronavirus. I do not think it is a serious thing. I have heard that everyone is uh, who has it is like barely showing any symptoms. I know supposedly Landon Donovan has it. Tom he, Hanks. He's supposed to, and he said he can play a seven-game series. He's supposed to be one of the best soccer players in the world. I don't think that this is a serious thing. Everyone I, I, I hear about having it has overcome it. And it seems like they're doing a lot of other sketchy shit in the time being I while no we're all quarantined. And I have no clue People what's are just going willing on. to give their rights away. Here's like, one. I'll tell you one right now. Did you know that the Democratic primaries are like going on like throughout all this shit? Do you even care? Do you know who's fucking being voted on and all that shit? No. Exactly. Because Joe Biden is getting those votes. That creepy pedophile old man, Joe Biden, who gets his <laughs> oh, legs rubbed, no, is getting those votes. And this is happening because nobody even nobody can go out and vote right now. Like, this is some crazy. You can't go it's out. It's crazy. You can't go out and vote in the primaries and, yeah, right dude, now. Dude, this is the thing that's been annoying me is like. This whole 5G thing, you know what I mean? They they tested it in the laboratory, and they said that 5G will cause cancer, and it's, like, radioactive, and what it's, like, it's harmful to be around you. It's a new internet electronic oh, like way 4G? of, like, there's now 5G. It's and the new 5G thing. 5G causes cancer. And they're saying that it's radioactive. Unreal. And it's, like, they tested it, and they said it's way past the legal limit for radioactiveness that you're allowed to be around, and that it's very, very dangerous to be around. And like people have like boycotted it and go, like been going nuts saying like, do not let your do not buy five G do not let your and like, this is going on right now. Well, right now all the schools are shut down, and while all the schools are shut down, they are mandatory being up upgraded to five G networking in all the schools, every elementary school, every middle school, all these things. Wait, and they're saying that the five G affects your brain and it affects your development. And it affects, like, all these things. Where do like, you get this knowledge from, though? I mean, I don't know. I've been seeing this online. Conspiracy online theorists where? have been talking about this for three years. And now it's, like, a serious thing. And if you look up articles about 5G and the cancer-causing products, they they have sent this to Connecticut, and they have done tests on this thing. And it... It is shown that it causes cancer, and they're shown that it is way radioactive more than it is legally allowed. And coronavirus is now distracting people from this vibe. Well, coronavirus took everybody out of schools, and now they're using it as a they're using it as a way to upgrade the school systems to five G. Oh, fuck! Thank God Since I'm graduating, in bitch. I got, I better not fail my shit. I better fucking pass every class. I don't know. That's just kind of nuts, you know. Like they say, cell phones are bad for you and stuff like that. You I believe that 100. percent I believe. I believe that too. I believe that the radioactive of cell phone you shouldn't have it in your pocket. But like, I think that I'm gonna. Think that's I'm gonna under the legal limit, and like five G is in more than that. Like it's way more intense. I think than I'm that, definitely gonna you know? get like ball sack cancer from having the phone in my pocket. Probably, you know I, mean? I think mad people are. You know, like, shit is kind of scary, honestly. Like, what the fuck? Some kind of population control gimmick, you know? Oh, that's definitely what's going on right now. It's oh, all yeah. over. It's the, this the whole coronavirus shit is population and control. I, I don't know. It's crazy because like there's a lot of like other weird stuff about like I don't know, man. You I can just say feel whatever like, you I want. I just feel like there's not many people that have it, and it's not that serious. And now people are. Out of work, and I, I'm out of work, and like the gym is shut down, and I can't leave my house, and people are willingly handing their rights away, all of their human rights. Businesses are shut down. Your human down rights are to the pay. point where people I, can't I pay saw rent. four, four moms today, four different moms, and like actually, not, I can't say moms, women. Three of them were moms. One of them was my girlfriend, but I've seen four different people today cry, and be in tears, upset. Because they're in fear of their future. They do not know if they can feed their children. 
They do not know if they can pay their bills, if they can pay their rent. They do not know if they're even going to have a job when all this is said and done because a lot of these are small companies and they're all being destroyed. And now they have no income for an unlimited time frame. No one's telling them how long it's going to be. It could be two weeks, could be three weeks, could be a month, could be two months. No one knows how long the time frame is. I don't know. Trump and says, Trump says he's going to give everybody $1,000. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> How do you just give somebody a thousand dollars with whose money, dude? Yeah, who the fuck? Where is does paying, that come from? Who's paying for that shit? Oh, it's so, some Bernie Sanders. So, shit. so money is just it's Bernie so Sanders. So imaginary. Shit. You We're just gonna give people. You shit. could just print it up and give it to people. If that was the case, then why the fuck does anybody work? Yeah, can I have some of that, please? So I think the whole system of going to work for forty hours a week and making someone—it's a scam. Whatever, the whole thing of like having a job is like like it is what it is. You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. I accept that for what it is, and I'm willing to do that. But, like, people work their whole lives to build something up, and now that there's a virus that kills uh, a couple of old people, and, uh, you know, it has, like, a 90% cure rate, and 0.111% <laughs> people in New York State have it, you're willing to give up all your freedoms and everything that you worked hard for to build up, you're willing to just hand it away, and throw it away, and say, oh, I'm willing to go three, I'm willing to go a month with no income, if that's what it takes to get past corona. We need to flatten the curve. What, what the fuck? I, what does flatten the curve that. fucking mean? That's some that's some also subliminal shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's like the flat earth shit. I feel like I don't know, man. It's just like some weird shit. Like flatten the curve. Why would that be the catchphrase? Why? It's yeah, what just, does it's that just mean? Weird, dude. You know what I mean? What, what does that mean? Uh, flatten the oh, curve. Oh, because that doesn't sound uh, oh, good. Oh, well, they want like you know, well, it's the amount of people that contracted and the amount of people that died. We're trying to find a vaccine, so oh, dude. right now so the we curve can brainwash. If we all get it, the curve would be tremendous because you look at the curve of people that got it and died. We need to flatten the curve and have nobody get it by just staying inside and bubble wrapping yourself and oh my giving God. up all of your human rights. Listen. Next is going to be FEMA camps, man. FEMA camps is coming next, and that's going to be the civil war, dude. If there's FEMA camps, there's civil war. I saw a picture on it was a Facebook thing with the I see that FEMA the Walmart thing. Walmart. With FEMA. That shit. You know is what so FEMA camp is? You know what that is, right? I don't know what that is, but that's what it looks like. That's they, when they, the government comes in and they take take control of all the supplies and all everything. So literally everything will be owned by them, and they'll shut down everything. The, the grocery stores will also be shut down. The food, the supplies, everything. And if you want food, or you gotta if get you a want vax. Supplies, or you gotta if get you a want, vax. You have to get. You have to get a vet. Not only that, but like, like in some cases, it's so extreme that it's like you need to get a chip in your arm. You want, you want, uh, you want water. You want toilet paper. You want food. You need the chip. We need to know exactly. Is, we need to know where you're going because we need people quarantined and to stay social distancing. If we want to flatten the curve, we need people away from each other. So give me your arm. Let's put a chip in there. You'll be tracked. Everything you do and say and you know, everywhere you go, we'll know where you where it is. So we will keep you safe because we care about you. But really, they want to control every aspect of human life and take control of all the of everything and make you so dependent on them that you need them for literally everything. And they want to keep you in a child baby like mind state. And that's not what a good parent would do. The government is supposed to be a mother government, a parenting government. And is that what a good parent would do? is just baby somebody and give them everything and so that you keep them reliant on them and dependent on them so that they never grow as individuals and people or as a government supposed to, you know, give you the freedom to be your own per I don't know. Like I, I'm just kind of freaking out over the whole thing. This is I'm really some out. apocalyptic like shit. My friend man. Vic that I work with, he, he um, has been into guns and stuff and stocking his own weapons and ammo and stuff like that. While everyone was running to the store and grabbing toilet paper, he's been grabbing ammo. And I've been like, you're crazy, dude. What are you talking about? Like, what is this? But now it's all hitting me. And I'm realizing that, like, holy shit, they're literally going to have National Guard patrolling the streets. And if you are play basketball with your friends at the park or if you go for a jog, you're liable to get shot because you're as dangerous as somebody with a loaded gun because – Coronavirus is that dangerous, supposedly. This is some zombie apocalypse. It really shit, is, dude. So it's people like, are going to need guns. And, like, somebody, how about this? Like, my. Do you think, we're, here, I want to ask you right now, do you think we're going to get past this, or do you think it's just going to get worse from right here, from right now where we are? 
sitting down recording the first episode. I think that like we'll get past the coronavirus, but like we'll our I don't know, dude. Like I don't know, man. Are they testing the, the fact that like we get with the is fact that, that the people are so easily scared and so easily everyone is freaking, willing to dude. freak out and so willing to give away their human rights and give away their like freedoms out of the fear of something that is crazy. So like the fact that the government knows that now and the fact that they know that they're able to literally keep you locked inside of your house all day long while they can do whatever they want to do in the streets. I don't know what they will do with that in the future and what that may entail for the future of of uh, the American citizens and to see how easily they are controlled by the news networks that are may oh or may not God. be telling the truth. They believe everything is insane, they see. Man. It's, it's insane. Seeing the way that everyone else is, uh, seeing the way that people have acted, not everybody, because like there's some people that I've seen that are like, I don't know, using common sense. If, like, look out for your neighbor, you know, help each other out. Like, what is good with the whole like, Stocking toilet paper, all this shit, like all this hoarding shit. Why is it toilet paper? And though? like you know not I mean? being Why? able to. Of all you, things, these people can't protect people themselves. People aren't like, getting vitamins. People okay, aren't so getting they have all that shit. Medicine. But like, do you have food? Do you have like a. That's what it. happens Why? if they tell you you Why can't is it just get toilet food paper? Now? That's you what have I have a gun. To that's what hunt? I want to know. I don't know. Like toilet paper of all things. Why just that? That shit is nuts. Like that's the first thing you're thinking about. You're gonna be shitting twenty four seven. You're gonna be. You can't leave your house. The first thing you're thinking about is, oh, I'm gonna be taking a lot of shit in that time period. Yeah, what the fuck? That's insane, dude. The way that people have acted during this has just shown me that as soon as this is over, I need to go. I need to get a gun immediately. (laughs) I feel that on on a fucking spiritual level because people are. People are just on another level of stupid. They like, really are on another level. And of you stupid. can't trust anybody these this day and age. You know, it's love thy neighbor, but you can't. You really can't. You can, man. I love everybody. You know what I mean? I do, and I I want the best for everybody. But if you're hoarding paper and like you're hoarding shit so that nobody else can get it but you, that is like that is insanely selfish to me. And like the fact that these people are doing this shit without even thinking and like. It's just a dumb thing to even... I don't know. The whole thing is just so dumb. And it really has just shown me a lot about the people that we're surrounded by in the society. I'm 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 really concerned going forward. I don't know what to... I'm uh, more afraid of the fear that's been spreading. The fear is the virus. That's, that's the, what the I'm coronavirus, saying. I always thought it was a hoax. And that fear is the virus. And fear is spreading like wildfire. And I see a lot of people that are freaking out afraid and i'm more afraid of like what is going to happen because of that reaction than anything else and it makes me really want a gun i'm not afraid to defend for myself i'm not afraid of getting the coronavirus i'm just afraid of not not like I'm, i'm fucking scared of the world but like this is some crazy shit going down right now like it is i don't know if this is just gonna go away or if this is just going to get worse and i feel like in my in my heart i truly feel like this is just gonna get worse like the corona thing uh, that's no this whole like containment thing you know the containment thing like i feel like people are going to go nuts i can't like you can't tell somebody not i'm on spring break still right now i have a whole nother week of spring break before they do school again and i'm pretty sure we're not going back i'm pretty sure it's all online from here on out 100 percent. the and rest of school for you is going to be 100%. that's great i'm graduating so that's crazy shit you like, can't walk graduation i i don't give a fuck I mean, just give me my diploma i guess but that's just like unreal shit that that's like like what how long is this going to go for i don't know nobody knows nobody knows all I know is if they cancel Dead & Company's summer tour, I'm going to flip the fuck out. They canceled Wrestle fucking Mania, dude. That's crazy. That's unreal. I mean, it's crazy that there's no, no fans. I don't know. It's crazy it's that they're like still going to do WrestleMania. 85 plus thousand people a year, and you're telling it, me that it's there's going to be that whole no thing one is there. Nuts, man. I want to tell you right now that they have they have merch this year for WrestleMania, and it says, you know how you have the shirts that say, I was there, WrestleMania? Yeah. It says, I wasn't there. Wow. On, the, on the shirt because nobody will be there, but they're still selling that shit. <laughs> it says I wasn't there because you weren't. Nobody was. That's crazy. I th- here's my thing for us. I want to I want to live stream that shit and I want to do a live commentary of WrestleMania because I feel like this is gonna be that'd be cool. This is gonna be the weirdest shit. It's a two night thing, 
I, this is going to be some weird shit because I've never seen like the wrestling with no people right now watching it on TV. It'd be cool sucks. if we did it like a live stream. That's what I want to do. I want to do a good live, like go live. Yeah. Go and, live. And people can tune in. They can watch WrestleMania with us. Basically. That's the idea as of right now. Getting that set up is the question. Oh, I, there's most, we have the equipment to do this shit. It's just knowing how to fucking do it. And I'm a shot unit, but I'm pretty sure we can get that done. Yeah, we can figure that out. My friend Billy will help us out. He's a technical guy, and he's only working a few days a week now. Everyone's out of work, man. Nobody's well, actually, working. he's going to be working no days a week now because everyone's on lockdown. I don't it's even so know. crazy, What the man. fuck so does that up, mean? Dude. Like, what are we going to well, do? Well, they want to go to martial law, dude. If you go to martial law, there's going to be civil war. And, like, that is a... I, I don't know. Like, it's so crazy to think that, like... This is a possibility right now, you know? I need a gun. And, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, this guy, Vic, that I work with, sick Vic. <laughs> he he first is off, like. First off, shout out to him because. He's, yeah, we he's have a lit, man. We have a psychedelic garment in the studio now, thanks to sick Vic. We got a. Uh, he hooked it up with a Do SA t shirt, man. A Dale Earnhardt Jr. Do SA jersey t shirt. It's such a sick shirt. Crazy fucking shit. I love that shit. And that is. We will be doing rituals with that shirt. Sick Vic, shout out to you. Amen. You are a good brother of the fifth dimension. Yes. And we will be definitely having your fifth While dimension. While we're quarantined, we should get him on the show. Oh, dude, we need to get him on the show and we need to do his fucking, his blessing, his inauguration into the fifth dimension. And now that we yeah. have a psychedelic garment here, we got a psychedelic do. We got to get the fucking gimmicks and it, induct him into the fifth. I Truly agree. Jo- yeah, definitely. His joining, his pledge. He, um... What was I going to say, man? He's a really cool dude, man. You know, I fuck with him. I've only met him the one time at his bar show, yeah. but I fuck with him all day. Yeah, I do like him a lot. And he has a new song out. Well, it didn't drop yet, so I don't want to uh, spoil. I don't want to spoil anything, but like it's in the process of getting processed. And when it gets processed, it'll be released on his uh, on his cloud. But this song is sick, man. And like. Maybe this week, if he comes on Reggae Radio, we could drop it before we can drop that shit low Holy key. Shit. I don't know, man. I'm going to ask him because it's featuring Diabolic. I don't know if you know what Diabolic is, but he is a famous rapper from back in the day. I used to listen to Diabolic. And um, this song is just pretty dope shit, you know? <laughs> That's what's up. So he's got some good He's got some good music out coming out soon. And like he is a member of the fifth. So, I mean. Straight up. But anyway. The story is, I go to work today, and Vic is tells me, like, he's been telling me for a while that, you know, he's been stocking up on his shit, whatever, and, like, this week, he was trying to get ammo and more stuff, and there's been lines, like, crazy out the door, and there's no ammo, there's no guns at any no. of the gun stores. Everybody's getting all sold shit. out. Everyone isn't sold out. So, yeah, I had the I idea thought, of pulling I, the range. I, I was thought like, you needed range. shit, yo. I thought you needed, like paperwork and shit when you no, nah, when you go to get a gun you can go in there and walk out with a gun the same day like it's a, you have to go get a background check but like it's only like a, a 15 minute 20 minute process and if you're not like that's it mentally challenged or like if you're not like if you don't you know, look like you, a school shooter if there's something if there's shit. not something wrong in your background check at all if there's like any red flags it's you're not getting one it'll take a while you know but you can pretty much walk out with a gun the same day. Like that's what no. I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, dude. Yeah. So I mean, everyone came. I mean, people are they sold out of all these guns and like ammo, all this stuff is sold out. So Vic, I, like we told, told him to call the range yesterday for ammo. He calls the range. They literally laugh at him on the phone. No way. They they, they laugh at him, dude. Yeah. They're like, "There's no way we have we have no ammo." I'm like, "Are you kidding me? That's so crazy." So today. He goes, you believe this shit, whatever. He's like, somebody from this job at this company, whatever, had the balls to call me up yesterday and ask me to borrow a firearm because they want to protect their family. Borrow a firearm. He said, he said excuse me, uh, hey, Vic, hey, Vic, uh, you mind if I can borrow something to just protect my family? I was like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Uh Remember when you said I was a conspiracy theorist and, uh, oh, I'm just a crazy doomsday prepper and why would I need to know about building guns? Why would I need to know about ammo? Why would I need to know about that? He's like, isn't it kind of crazy now that uh, here we are and you're coming to me for, for a gun and ammo? 
He's like, uh, I'm not here we giving, are. Like, I'm, not, I'm not giving fit. you shit. You yeah, know, we can't even go to the gym. Pretty much, is like I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's nuts. Yeah. yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. So I mean, that right, straight up, yeah. So I mean, Vic is stocked up and ready for a civil war. He has vests and everything. He is no ready way. to go. The fifth dimension might. And I mean, I cannot blame him shit. at all because I want. I wish I was in the same boat. Like Ted Nugent, all these people, they are ready to go. The only thing we got up in this studio is the kendo stick from Ken, from WrestleMania 35. Uh, the legend. That's the only show. weapon I have, you know, and I feel like that would help us. I feel like that's more of a sacred weapon that would help us out more than anything. Like if if shit really gets to that level, I feel like if you get the two hardest motherfuckers in Spanish Harlem uh, the, out in the streets of freaking Selden, New York, eating their chopped cheese with a chopped cheese sandwich and a kendo stick, man, kendo stick. Well, look out, you know? That's that's fucking scary shit. You're going to get fucked. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I think we'll be safe if something does get to that level, but this corona shit needs to end ASAP because right now, technically, I'm out of income. You're at, We're all out of income, yeah, and I mean, you're out of education. Like, oh, my God. My education. Well, I guess you could do, are you doing the online shit right now? Yeah. So well, right now, I'm fully on, out of education. I'm on spring break right now. Yeah, but. But it's going to be going back. It's going to be school man. shit, 100%. Which Crazy. Is fucking weird. Crazy. Crazy. Unreal. This is honestly unreal. It really is. I never thought I would get to this point, you know? All sports, all this shit is canceled. XFL. Dude, NYWC canceled. Even the NYWC is closed now. We can't even train. We can't even anymore. train. I know. And That's like, like one of the, the one fuck? things I love. And I can't go to the to. gym, and now I can't go and like wrestle. You like, can't work out. Oh, oh my God. Funny. So there goes my cardio fucking shot. There goes my fucking body. That no, I'm no, 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 no. Bullshit. I was saying this, and I was spiraling out of control, but I have realized that now. This shit is not going down like that. We are going to fucking find a place. To run. Oh, we got I have shot a treadmill. on site. I have a treadmill. We can go to a track. We can figure this shit out. We will run, and we will do weights. I have weights in my garage. Thank and shit. you. You really? Yeah, All not right. crazy weights, but I have enough weights where How we can much like get a workout. Like Thirty pounds. I have uh, if you I, have, no, I have up to like 75, 85 pounds dumbbells. You have up to? Yeah, it's like these things that like, it's like these weights where you put them in and you can like adjust them. And you can like the same, it's one pair of dumbbells. What the fuck? But you can ju- adjust them and make them 10 pounds, 20 pounds. That you just made them like I mean, if pounds. we have like, do you have a so bench? So I have that there. shit and I have a bench. So we can do oh like, oh my God, that's all. Like we can do so much shit. With and we, that. Can, we can figure it out. You know what I mean? Like, we're, I had we're the, the we're cowbell. Back to the gym. I mean, we, can, we can figure this shit out. We're back starting whenever. Jump ropes, you know? We were going to we'll figure it out. Abs and cardio. If we're doing our running, if we're running every day, and then we could we could figure out. You know, we can figure some stuff out. We got to get back to it because I don't like this not working out shit. No, 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 no. We worked too hard to get to this point and we're not going to let this coronavirus bullshit hold us down. I was starting to look decent. This is absolute bullshit. Coronavirus really fucked me. I know. I had a shitty week. I definitely put some pounds on this week, but it's not going to destroy me. And by the time they open the gyms again, I want to be full head of steam. You know, I'm gonna be ahead of all those motherfuckers because nobody was. If we run every day. We should be running every day. You know, hundred percent. And when they open the gym again, we're gonna be that much better and that much more in the groove, that much more ready to get back into lifting weights in the gym. And uh, hopefully, you know, by June we'll be ready for this half marathon. I'm ready for the half marathon now. I'm confident that if we had that half marathon next weekend. We both will be able to do it. There's a half marathon next weekend? No, I'm saying I'm confident that if there was, oh. we would both be able to do it. You think so? I think so. But that is not until June. So we will, we're will. we going to keep doing this every week and keep getting no, better. It's probably we can't, be canceled we can't afford to take anyway. off. Bullshit, dude. They're going to have this thing. Come half, on. The they're going to have this half the marathon. marathon. They're going to have it. Bullshit. The full one's in, in November, so... We'll, we'll have time say. for that. Trump said on the news that but, this sh- sh- he doesn't think shit's going to get better until August. Oh, my God. That's what he projected, yeah. No. That's Dude, what, that's, that's what past he said. That's company, so. That's what I'm saying. Fucking, I mean, if you come here one day and you're like, hey, bun, you see, like, peak eating my dead body, I had to off myself because the fucking tour was canceled. So. <laughs> I know. Take, so take the sad. fucking shit and just continue it as the Squatch. My girlfriend is heartbroken because she has always, like, dreamed of seeing uh, Ellen John. And we were supposed to see him this month at the Garden. And that would, you know, And then sad. it's canceled. 
Elton John, dude, canceled. Elton. The freaking rocket man. <laughs> the fucking rocket man, man. <laughs> How are you going to cancel the rocket man? That's fucking bullshit. Dude. That's absolutely unreal. Right now, that is unreal. That's I don't unreal. fuck with the coronavirus. The coronavirus is really just ending civilization as we know it, to be quite frank with you. Like, there is nothing. There's- Should we do a freaking live quarantine wrestling show in, of some sort? Uh, dude, I fucking will put. I will go. Oh, right we can't now. even do that, dude. Like, what do you mean? You can't go. N Y W C is closed down. I oh. guess we could do a freaking live wrestling show in like a backyard somewhere. We can wrestle right here in the fucking basement no, of Johnny Rackey. There are psychedelic it. gimmicks. There are the USA no, Wolf. We can have a psychedelic death match. It's a goddamn kind of stick from a kind of stick man. There's fucking mad shit down here. There's fucking the shit we put there. Are a I'm to have a backyard match. Dude, you got to do what you got to do for the people, man. I'm going to be like, yo, this is for coronavirus. This is for you. I'm going to fucking fight in the street. And they hope, hopefully the uh, National Guard doesn't fucking shoot me on sight. Yeah, that's true. They're going to have helicopters out there and everything. Oh, fuck. It's going to be like Call of Duty. In fucking life. work them, dude. we got to work them. We're not really fighting, officer. It's for the WWF championship. Piece of shit. You, you hear that? That's my dog, yo. She just keeps barking and barking all night long. I don't know what she wants from me. I gave her chicken this nuggets. This is senile dog? This is the, she's not senile. She's just blind. And she's really old. 18 years of age on the planet Earth in human years. That's a lot of fucking years for a dog. How do you know she's not senile? Oh, because she knows shit. You know what I mean? She knows How do you when, know she knows shit? She knows when treats are coming out. She knows... Yeah. The outside door, you know what I mean? And she like there's just like little things that you know she knows like her whole even though she's blind, how the fuck you tell me a blind dog knows how to go outside? Like if yeah, she's yeah, like yeah, she I just knows. think she's just blind. Even though she did take a couple bad tumbles, you know what I mean? That's fucking crazy shit. Oh my god. Give me the fucking heebie jeebies thinking about that shit. But She's just, uh, she's still going, you know what I mean? But she just pisses and shits all over the place. So that's the current life we're living She took in. some bad falls recently? She, not not recently, but like over the summer. You, do you see upstairs how we have everything... Uh, blocked off? Blocked off with gates around the, yes. the thing. We didn't even think she could fit through that. And she went through that and fell. Directly down the stairs? Yeah, yeah. like That, that full story drop? Yeah, yeah. And we oh were su- man We were surprised She fucking sur- We were like What the Holy fuck Holy shit How did she and survive like, that The thing was She wasn't blind then. That's some ECW yeah. shit uh, She knew Jack Motherfucker <laughs> she, it's a, When I heard My mom called me And she told me that story I started to cry And while crying I did have to Because I'm an asshole I was chanting ECW I was like, <laughs> I was like Holy shit I was like It's bad I was like Is she okay I'm crying I'm like ECW 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 Shit was really fucked up And then so we blocked off the majority of the shit, but she still found a way how to fucking sneak through and fucking fall again. Crazy. So that's Twice? Two, that's two fucking New Jack bumps. She took two, and this two of those bumps? At 18 years old. She should little be dead, dude. Do- she, should be, she should have been dead after the, after the first bump. Bro. She's got this Jack. After yeah. that first... <laughs> <laughs> off the hell in a cell. Pretty much. My God almighty, no, she has broken an iron. That hell in a cell bump was safer than fucking New Jack going she onto is, concrete and fucking smacking his head. You know what I mean? She fell down. That's fucking like, that's 12 foot drop or some shit. That's some crazy shit. I'm surprised the dog is still going. And you know what? Fuck me for saying, do you hear this? Because she can bark all she wants for taking those bumps. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ass. She Whatever. Should, yeah. <laughs> She's still going, man. That's what's up. I can't crazy believe Crazy she's that able shit. to bark. Uh, her up the <laughs> bark. Jesus Christ. The dog still jumps. You know what I mean? When I'm giving Bruce treats, she knows. And she, if the tail starts wagging, I'm like, holy shit. And she starts fucking jumping up. I'm like, God damn, look at you go for the fucking treats. Yeah, that's sick. So like, I don't know. It's just, I I call She's her Benjamin. You ever seen the movie Benjamin shoes. Button? I haven't seen that movie. No, I don't know what it's about. It's like, it's about like an old man. It's like, like the, the person is born in like an old man and the life goes in reverse. And I'm like, oh, this bitch really made what? it. Too. Yeah, it's like, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the premise of the movie. An old man and the life goes in reverse instead of being like a baby to an old he's man. He's born an old man. He's born an old man and he, go, and he goes backwards to a baby. Does he come, do they show the birth scene? No. I don't know. I don't remember. I honestly. hope not. But that, that, that is what I call princess upstairs. I'm like, you are Benjamin Button. Like, you're about to go in reverse, I feel like. I can't believe you're still going. Like, holy shit. You know what I mean? Unreal. That is <laughs> unreal. Absolutely unreal. 
So what are your plans for coronavirus? Honestly, there's nothing to do. So what are you going to do? What You have no work now? What are you going to do now? Are we just going to have to record this shit? On I don't know, place? man. We're going to do squats in the barn. Are we going to have to make promos? I'm still going to try and find ways to work out. I uh, I have some spring cleaning to do. I want to get rid of some clothes. I'd like to get my wardrobe down to a very small amount. So I'm going to try and give some clothes away to charity or something. So if you know anybody that's a size 2X or an XL that wants some clothes or, you know, if you know somebody that's in need of clothes, I'm going to try and get rid of a whole bunch of clothes. And then uh, I'm hoping I can learn a couple new songs on the banjo, man. Uh, I think it'd be cool if I could play the banjo this week and really take some time to um, spend it with the banjo and get better at it. Good old banjo. Because I haven't really played much in the past week or so. And I think if uh, now that I'm quarantined, if I could spend a couple hours a day with the banjo and just... uh, Get better with it and get more comfortable with it. They say, really, what else is there to do than play the banjo while quarantined? That's what I'm saying, man. It's not much. Sure is, You know? We were just playing some good old NBA The Jam on Fire Edition before we hopped on this shit. That, I haven't played that game in You know what? Long. I'm running the verge of beating Far Cry 5. I should just beat that game. So I should just I should just go back and beat it. Well, I didn't beat it yet. So. You're on the verge. Yeah, yo. Like, it, like, you know what I mean? There's like three main characters in the game. And I pretty much, I met like, I've beaten two of them. And the last character, I met like 95%. And after I beat that, it's like final boss shit, you know? It's like the final storyline comes to a close. So I'm pretty much right there at the end of this game. And I have not um, finished it. And I hear like the ending is like crazy, mind-blowing shit. I haven't played video games in so long. Today when I set out to PlayStation 3, just to bust out that game, I was... Feeling nostalgic. I don't know why I haven't played video games. Yeah, why not? Man? I don't know, but I really did enjoy that shit. And while quarantine, I guess, uh, I guess fucking, we're gonna have to be playing little video games. That's what it looks there. like. Yeah. I, this like, what else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? Well, lock the fuck up. I do wanna, I do wanna. What what happened with uh, Suave? Oh, is Suave going back to uh? His new place, or is he stuck here because of... He's stuck here. Do you want to invite him over one day and uh, try and do a nice question to Bond with Suave? Holy shit. <laughs> what do you think about that? Would that be unreal? That would be unreal. Maybe. Possibly. But if he gets... We're not going to... Uh, if he gets too crazy, I'm going to tell him to get off my property. All right. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. But he will be here for a little bit, and... uh I mean, he's spiraling out of control right now with the whole coronavirus oh, thing, too. I fucking you know? bet. Tell me about that. <laughs> wait, wait, why? He was just telling me every, about every... all types of satanic shit. Oh, and fuck. There's a new video that came out yesterday of all the celebrities, like, singing and shit. Oh, Elton. Not Elton John. Yeah, the John Imagine Lennon. song. Yeah, yeah. And, like, whatever. And there's another video of, like, Ellen DeGeneres. And she's in front of her house, and she's talking. And then, like, it shows the inside of her house. Like, through the window behind her. You could see the inside of her house and like where her living room is. And there's like some crazy picture on the wall. And it's like some demonic shit. And he was like, you know, he like paused and it was like, well, what is that shit? And it was like, that's her living room. You they know? tell me Ellen is and then like, fucking. They looked it up and shit. Someone online looked it up and it was like, they found out exactly what it was and like put it side by side. And you could tell what it is. And what then is he's like, look at the freaking. Dan- well, Danny has this, this crazy theory. Of like, um, well, it's not really his theory. Like, this is a real theory, you know. Like, but like, they say that like, there is a, there's this artist that does these like crazy like pictures, and like most of them are like of the devil and like of demons and shit, and it's like this weird stuff. But it's like really not the best art. It's like, like that picture is not like it's not some Alex Gray shit. It's not like crazy art. It's like. You would think like maybe a kid did this shit. You know what I'm saying? A child. But this artwork sells for like ten million dollars. What the fuck? Like millions and millions of dollars. Child artwork. And it sells to all these elitist and all these crazy like elite people have this artwork. So like the theory behind it is that all these people that are involved in like sex trafficking of like minors and like all this crazy shit, like will go through this guy and like. He's supposed to be one of the best, like the biggest, like sex traffickers or whatever. And like, you can't just like, when you like put the bank statements in, you can't just write like, you know, 
sex trafficking, ten million dollars. <laughs> what the fuck? But oh, like, art. but he'll be like, oh, well, I'm a I'm a world renowned artist. So oh my God. why don't you just buy my painting? And freaking, you know, give me all that money. So really, they're buying like kids, but they'll pay him ten million dollars, and he'll give them the artwork, and they'll hang it in their house. And then if another elitist, like let's say I'm a big elitist in whatever, and I come over to your house or whatever, or we're talking, we're chilling, and I see the painting in your house, oh shit, you know, you know what's his name? That artist? Oh, I know him too. I have his paintings in my house too. What, why don't we uh, why don't we hang out and talk about more about that artist and his paintings and his artwork? Big fan of that guy, and like it's kind of a way to like subtly like be in on something. You know what I'm saying? So like that's what that that's the theory behind these paintings. Some hidden shit. And that is the theory behind it, and it is in Ellen's house. So that is what um that is what our friend Suave is. He was spiraling about today. So you're telling me he is possibly a uh, Ellen is possibly. Uh, Satanist. Well, he's been telling me that Ellen is satanic and she's like evil, whatever, for like a while. He's been he's, he's been saying that for like two years now. So like he's been saying that for a man long, and I've always been like, what? Like, there's no way, no way. She's Ellen, and he's like, yeah, she exactly like she's she's the, she's the face of whatever. Of course she is. She's bought and sold and whatever, and inside she's miserable and you know blah blah blah. <laughs> And I believe it, you know. Someone who has to put on a character for that long, every day. Oh, there's the no worst. way she's that happy twenty four seven. How can you do it, man? And then you know when the cameras go off, she's probably like, "Fuck this, fuck but all." I you. don't think that makes her satanic. Look under your seat and get but, the fuck out. I don't know. Look it up yourself. You know what I mean? Look it up yourself. But. <laughs> that is the conspiracy conspiracy of the week. I can't oh. give the lift ride of the week. I can't give the crazy lift ride of the week because I haven't driven lift, and I feel like I shouldn't drive lift. I don't know. Because what do you think, man? Because like well, here's I the thing. I went out and drive lift. I went out door dashing today with a mask on, uh, a coronavirus mask, and I did one order, and I went up to the girl with the mask on and everything, and I went to go do a second order. And like right as I turned onto the block, they texted me and they were like, oh, I cancel this. I don't want this. And it was from Wingstop. And it was like, I would say like almost like $80 worth of food. And I was like, oh, I was like, so you don't want this. And they were like, no. So I just started driving back to my house and I went on dash support to try to get to talk to somebody to find out. Like, what do you do with this food? So I just kept driving and it took mad long. Like I w- it was 2000 people ahead of me and it went all the way down eventually, like after like an hour to one and it just kept going and going, and going and didn't, didn't connect to anybody. So I went out of it and I went back into it again, fucking another fucking 1500 and I get down to me and they finally get into it and they just told me they just paid me for the order. And by that time, the food was already eaten by like me and my family. Like we ate that shit, hundred percent. Let's say, and there was a lot. Was of it good food? Oh, dude, it was like mad wings, fucking mad many fries. They had it was like a whole bag of fries, fucking a bunch of different kinds of wings. That's and like they had a what do you call it? Like loaded fries too. Those were mad good. I was like, holy fuck! It tasted a lot. The fries tasted like Five Guys fries, and the wings were just fucking unreal shit. So thank you, DoorDash, for the free meal. Pay, you actually fed an entire family during this hard time. Thank you for also paying me for doing that job. That's sick. But I wonder, like, did that guy had to pay for it? The guy, the customer? I don't know. That didn't eat the food. When they told me like, they, who paid for when that? When they told me they canceled it, I was thinking about just driving to their house and fucking swiping. You know what I mean? Like, sw- like swipe and confirm delivery and leave with the food. <laughs> but I didn't do that. I. Uh, contacted the support but lifting i don't know that'd be i don't know if are are people going anywhere that are people do people need lift drivers right now i guess people gotta go to the grocery store right i don't know where else they would go i guess the train stations and the airports picking people up but like would you pick someone up who just landed from the airport? I would say get out of here. I don't want to go. Would you pick someone up who just came from the city or whatever? I've seen train? people from the airport um from the airports like re- like within like like a week ago I was around like two different people that were in airports and I was just like I don't know man. Mikey actually that's a lie. That's like fucking 
not two. It was actually four different people from airports. And I was, I thought if I, if I don't have Corona yet, I don't think, I think I'm immune to that shit because I've been around people who probably fucking were coughing Corona on me and I have survived thus to this point. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be fine, man. I don't know. I do want to get an exclusive with Uncle Link. I want to find out what the fuck. Yeah, we got to we gotta figure out what's good. Because my mom uncle. told me. That's so nuts. My mom told me he has coronavirus. I was on the phone with my grandma, and I was, and she said that she talked to Link. And I was like, did you know he has coronavirus? And my sister smacked the fuck out of me. Because you're not supposed to tell your grandma that, I guess. <laughs> what? That he has coronavirus because she'd freak out probably. <laughs> Why would she freak out? Because like some crazy shit apparently. That's what the media is telling her. And she's old and she <laughs> believes it. You know what I mean? She's watching Fox News, CNN. She's believing that shit. So, That's so funny. this is, I don't know where we're going to go from here. I don't know what the, what the future holds. But I do know that the squatch in the bun will continue. And we're going to, we like, will if there's endless, by. if there's nothing to do, I guess we can fucking just talk. You know what I mean? If there's nothing to do, there's just going to be endless content. I guess so. I guess that's the way it is, man. It's just really what it is. We got to find out how we're going to be putting this up on to like iTunes and shit. But most definitely, this will be on the Radkey Radio Productions YouTube channel, of course. And you can follow me at Man Bun Jesus on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Man Bun Jesus 420 on TikTok. YouTube's Man Bun Jesus TV. That's what I'm going to do when what? I'm quarantined. You're going to make a TikTok? Yes. <laughs> Plug in the shit. I'm going to make is, a TikTok. Oh, you should. And you should you should do the weird shit. Those like those weird dancing TikTok things with the filters. You should I don't even know how to do half that shit. And like most of my TikToks are just like wrestling shit or like dumb shit, like dumb things that we say that I caught on Snapchat. I'm going to try to cuck myself out and be famous on, on TikTok. You can definitely do it, dude. If you do it, I'm going to be proud of you. Because, because my sister's friend, this girl, she's famous on that shit. And her videos suck. <laughs> and I've seen them, and I'm like, yeah, this fucking shit sucks. So you and think- then my sister made one, and I thought her video sucked. And she got like 10,000 views on it. That's because she's a good-looking female. But it's, she wasn't even in the video. Oh, uh, who was in it? It was just her freaking cricket. Oh, the cricket. And it was like to a country song. And it was like fucking. Oh, my God. Hashtag country. I think country, the song was cricket. like alcoholic crazy. Or whatever the fuck it Is was. Is that the kind of music your sister listens to? Yeah. yeah dude. Oh, my she God. Does. Yeah, she does. How does she feel? Like, about the, like the bad country. Dude. How does she feel about the music we listen to? She's not a fan. That's unreal. You're telling me, dude. And she listens unreal. to country? Get out of here. She listens to the worst music of all time. Oh, unreal. Seriously. So so I think it was like something like alcohol driving me crazy. And like, so she's fucking, the song's playing and fucking, it's like her, she, the, the whole video is like her like making the shit on fucking cricket. And then at it's the talking very. Talking about that shit. We need to go at the to end somewhere of the video? and get shit before coronavirus really. I don't even know if we yeah. can. And get, and make shit on the cricket. Yeah, why not, right? Make sure the oh, at the coronavirus is over, we'll go to the Asian public library. If it ends, and we'll fucking do the library gimmick. But so she does the cricket thing, and then she puts it on a cup, like on a like a wine glass. And at the very end, when she sticks it on there, whatever, it like syncs up perfectly with the song, where it's like whatever the fuck it says there alcohol crazy and then it says alcohol crazy on the fucking oh, wine no. glass oh, cringy and i was just like ah, ah, no. ah. and no. uh that shit got ten thousand views ten thousand views so i was like yeah if your alcohol crazy bullshit cricket thing can get ten thousand <laughs> views you're telling me that i can't get freaking just a hundred views shit Unreal. My most one has a thousand views. A thousand views? And it's of me and you behind some f- fucking ice cream truck in the middle of the night. And it said Snow Cones. S N O. Oh, shit. And it was that one. Snow Cones. That one got a thousand views. I, I think I can make good videos, out. man. I can make better shit, dude. Everyone I post gets like a couple hundred, you know what I mean? But. I don't know. And then when it posts banjo licks, dude. Oh, dude. Right there. You let them know. 
You know, let's do some banjo legs. But there's a lot of cringy shit on TikTok. I don't really, I don't go on TikTok. Oh, yeah, too the much. whole thing I've seen is cringy, dude. I haven't seen a video on there that I don't think is cringy. <laughs> so I, I gotta cuck myself to a cringe level in order to get fame. That's the only way to do it, man. It's not the first time someone's done that. That's some gimmick king shit. Talking about gimmick king <laughs> shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an announcement coming very soon. It's in a. Dude, those gimmicks. Should be on the fucking cricket. I mean, not cricket. TikTok. What gimmicks? The Wrestle Buddies. Uh, we got to put the Wrestle Buddies on TikTok, you say? On uh, pay. That's a good idea, actually, because people may see that and they might want that shit. They'd be we like, should do oh. a puppet show with them on cricket. A puppet show on cricket TikTok? Oh, on TikTok. <laughs> a puppet show with these would be actually iconic. A actually. TikTok puppet show with I'm, the Wrestle Buddies? I'm yeah. down for the, a fucking... And I know Coach Mamone is going to be getting these. And I want to Coach Mamone one that comes back because the puppet show is going to be fucking on another level of fifth dimension shit. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be unreal. Yo, shout out Coach Mamone. He's getting married. Good vibes to he's you. He's getting married? He's get, he's engaged. So unreal. Good, good vibes to Coach. Dude. Good I, shit, Coach. I don't I don't really fuck with that many people on the independents. Get him on our episode of Squash For real. I really fuck I with I definitely Coach want Coach Mamone on something. Cause he's he's a dope guy. I really do fuck with him. So congratulations, Hunt to up you, man! Shout out to you, good brother. And CJ, anything else you want to add in before we end our first episode? I don't really have much more to say. I mean, the first episode, unfortunately, was all about the quarantine, lockdown bullshit from coronavirus. This is really a big but that's deal. all I had to talk about. I'm pissed off. It just took away my livelihood. I have no income, and it doesn't really matter. I mean. It does matter, but it doesn't matter in the long run scheme of things. I'm going to try and be positive and we're going to try and make content and we're going to try and continue to work out and not let it slow us down at all. If anything, I want to gain momentum in these weeks off. So that's it, man. There's nothing but momentum. There's nothing we can talk about but that right now. But gain. hopefully, if you come back in a couple of days and we have some fresh content, no, maybe we'll watch an old freaking WrestleMania. And just review it or something. Oh, that, that's definitely something I want to do. Because there's so much shit we can do. Let's with, just go through all the WrestleManias while with, we're quarantined. With the Squatch and the Bun, there's so much shit we can do. We can like, go on a WrestleMania marathon every we day. Can do, we can do a dead... <laughs> and this, this is what it is. We didn't talk about what this show is. So I guess that's what we'll end on. This show could be so much different shit. It could be what's going on with our lives. Like today, coronavirus. That was it. It could be a Grateful Dead show cover. A Dead and Company show cover. We, uh, like we're uh, not cover fucking review yeah it could be a wrestling shows, a wrestling yeah. show old from like when we were young like a 2006 2007 pay-per-view from when we believed and we loved wrestling and we'll, we'll do a review of that show and like a commentary or whatever you want to call it, a commentary of that shit definitely want to get live for wrestlemania but we can definitely do all those crazy shits for the squatch and the bun and then there's always what's going on in our lives I'm continuing Radkey Radio. I think Radkey Radio, if we don't go back to Five Towns, it's just going to be like a uh, me without you kind of thing, I think. And me and you will just be uh, squatching the bump. We'll, we'll definitely have to get you on Radkey Radio because we need you to sing the uh, the Candlestick Man anthem. So we'll get we'll sit down with who it will. We'll, we'll dip- who what? what are you talking about? I've been doing Radkey. I did a Radkey Radio with Larry. I did a Radkey Radio with The Flake. And Squatch in the Bun is what, now. the other day? Oh, those are regular, oh, those are regular radios? Those, I'm going to put those up on the channel and put those up. Are on, they going to go on the radio? Yeah. Oh, not the radio radio, but on here. You know okay, okay, I mean? okay. And, oh, that would be cool if we can send that in to W... So sh- like, send shit in to WFTU and see if that can go yeah, up. Yeah, if they want to put it up there. I don't sick. even know if there's anyone even going there. If anyone's there I, right I, now, I think yeah, it's like right. quarantine shut down for 5G. 5G bullshit yeah, to... Uh, 5G uh, upgrade. Get yourself fucked up with that shit. Oh, man. What a time to be alive, CJ Benson. Yeah, what a time yeah, to real. be alive. We're f- no, that's a good idea, though. I think we, I mean, we just got to figure out how to get this on Apple, Spotify, all that shit. Maybe Sick Vicious can help us out. Maybe my friend Billy can help us out. I don't know. Maybe you can help us out if you're listening to this and it's on YouTube and it's not on Apple or Spotify. So I don't know where this is going to be released, but if, if it's not on Apple or Spotify or whatever, Maybe you can help us get it on there. It's definitely going to be on YouTube for the time being, but we are looking at the iTunes and all that. So hopefully yeah. by 
the next few episodes, that's how you'll be listening to this because that's definitely the easier way. To they will be to on YouTube shit. at first for sure. Yeah. So but we're still we're still learning. We kind of just like got kicked out of five towns. Basically, we were doing Radky Radio and now they just kicked us the fuck out because of coronavirus. And now we are just learning and we're just doing it on the fly, baby. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. Facts. But CJ, until next time. That's it, man. Thank you, guys. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the first ever Squatch and the Bun. And let me tell you something, there is going to be so much more here on the Rag Key Radio Productions YouTube channel, on iTunes, and every where else we can post this shit so ladies and gentlemen until next time remember to stay gold Chinese virus. There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of it people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. That's why.
comes from China. I and want to be accurate. Yeah, Americans please, John. Country, please. Are you uh, I have a great, I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China.